Hey, my name is Paul Sparks. This is my first video, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the Poster A Day Challenge series I started during the first lockdown 2020. Shout out Big Man Boris. I was trapped inside a tiny flat share in Hackney in London, nowhere to go, nothing to do. And I'd seen a bunch of designers doing this sort of thing on Instagram and I thought, you know what, I'll throw my two pence into the mix. It's a good opportunity to just let my hands go, experiment and see what happens really. So yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. Poster number one, AJ Tracy, Psych Out. So initially, I didn't really know what to design. So the first thing I thought was, I'm doing this every day, so I need a simple theme, so I'm not burning time, wasting time, thinking, oh, what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? So the first thing that popped into my head was, just do it on music, it's such a visually rich genre, and you can bounce from there. So I was really feeling this AJ track at the time, so I thought, why not start there? The second thing I thought was, I don't really have a style, so what am I gonna do? But what I did know was, I gave myself a license to just try stuff out, make mistakes, try stuff, learn stuff. It didn't really matter what the outcome was. It was much more about just being creatively intuitive and taking the lead from there. I didn't wanna get caught up in, what's the bigger concept? It was just like, you know what, let your hands go. It is what it is. I had a little jump around Pinterest for some inspiration and I found this cool image from Chris Burnett who is an artist designer um, and I really like this sort of mishmash collage style with typography, image and colour um, and yeah I thought this was a really cool place to start, jump from here, take a bit of inspiration but try and do my own thing as well. So I really like the boxed in Polaroid framing from the reference image so I thought that was a cool place to start from, a nice base to build from um, but what it needed was a little bit of caption footnote text at the bottom just to frame the composition and add a little bit more information and context to the piece. Nailing down the right typography for any piece is crucial. I went with Shapiro, it's a high quality font, many cuts uh, from OGJ Design, comes in all these different weights, we've got Fly, Welter, Light, Super Heavy and Plus Size and you also have this Max Plus Size, it's this super brutalist, chunky, bold sands with real attitude. Okay, so back to the design, I knew that I wanted to have A and J as the main feature of the piece, like his name is the key thing, so bang bang, A and J. Uh, so I tried out some different composition just to see if it would work um, in different ways. So I tried it stacked initially, but because the A is symmetrical and the J is a stem with a curve, it just doesn't balance. So I had a look, but it doesn't work. I think it would work if it was two symmetrical forms, stacking it in this format, but it doesn't work. So I reverted to the straight AJ together, connected, and made it big, punchy, bled it out to the edge, and framed it vertically on the left-hand edge with the artist's name AJ Tracy and the track title Psych Out. Okay, so the base and the framing is in a good place. The next thing is, how do we get some of the personality of the artist in there? So, I had a look at the uh, image, I found an image online of AJ Tracy and I thought, how do I incorporate this in? But usually I like to interpret things graphically, so is there a way to manipulate the image or take crops of the kind of spider the spider web print and, and just incorporate that instead rather than being too overt and just using the straight up image? you know there's obviously kind of image rights and stuff like that so you need to think of a smart way or a graphic way to incorporate a bit of personality without being too overt 
Okay, so I jumped into the Photoshop filter gallery and chose torn edges to make the image a bit more graphic. Okay, at this point I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it's cool, but I don't think we need the image, the face and the hands. We just need the Gothic Supreme branding and the webbing from the hoodie. I think that gets enough of the personality in there, but keeps it graphic. So it doesn't detract too much from the the overall composition. Looking at it now, I think it's looking cool. We've got the AJ in there, bang. We've got the the framing on the side, so we know what's, what the title is, bang. And we've got a little bit of sauce with the Supreme branding in the webbing, cool. So we, what we need now is we need some layers, we need some depth, we need to create a bit of contrast and kind of mess it up a little bit. We need to set the scene. We need to put this artist in a scene where he would be. So I jumped on Unsplash and I thought to myself, I think if we can get a basketball court from above, we can use those track markings and the court markings on the deck and we can mess up the image, interconnect with the type and create those layers and depth that we need. I roll through the layer style presets just to see what comes of this, just to see what it throws up and I land here, bang. This actually looks pretty cool. It's got the layers that we need. It's all interconnecting with the AJ feature, the black, the blue, the gray, the tones are all coming together. The lines are going crazy. It's framing the Supreme Gothic logo. The web, the webbing is getting involved as well, which is a bit more organic. It looks like kind of court scratches just to give it that little bit of distress decay. And yeah, it's feeling pretty nice. The colors are working well, the AJ is punchy, the black, the light blue, the gray, the whites. It's all just kind of connecting up, feeling nice. But I feel like there's just something missing. There's just one element missing. And let me have a think. So I'll go back to the lyrics and I'll look through, have a listen at the song a few more times and there's a line in the song, White Air Forces, and I think like, that's a basketball shoe, originally. And it'd be cool, like on the underside of the Air Forces, they've got the OG uh, Nike logo. So it'd be cool to just slam that into the piece and then find a way to just hide it in there. I think this gives the piece the final layer that I was needing just to tie the concept together, break up this, the negative space a bit more and gets that extra layer of branding in there, ties it back to the basketball court and the Air Force is springing off the, off the court and I try a bunch of different compositions, spinning the logo, stacking it and duplicating it and to be honest like I try a few things out but it starts getting a little bit out of hand so I go away, I reset and then here is the final piece.